So why are we out in the woods with basically no food, supplies, or camping gear? Well, this next series is perfect for this kind of atmosphere. It's been a while since you looked at something from the early days of YTV. And you know, there was a time where I just didn't know what to do. Then I found a place, my friends, called Camp Caribou. Now I do the... Caribou Boogie. Camp Caribou is a variety show that takes place at the titular camp, led by the counselors Tom and Mark, as they go about their day. They start the day at the cabin either singing songs, Hop in the air, the junior bird. You've got it! Hop in the air and upside down, up in the air! Or playing games with the kids at the camp. For example, here's a game where the kids have to blow a stick stamp off their face. Got a three. The next segment would be either Camp Caribou Challenge, where kids challenge themselves in saying tongue twisters. Bluebirds and bird bath, bluebirds and bird bath, bluebirds and bird bath, bluebirds and blue bath, blue bath. Or Camp Caribou Question, where either Tom or Mark would ask the kids about different topics, like asking kids about their favorite cow or elephant jokes. Why did the cow to go, go to Hollywood? He wanted to become a movie star. What's gray on the inside and clear on the outside? An elephant in a baggie. Then it goes to probably the most well-known segment of the show. I've got a head like a ping pong ball. I've got a head like a ping pong ball. I've got a head like a ping pong ball. Ping like a ping pong ball. Ending with the cleaner. That's right, it's Camping with the Keeners and their famous song, I've Got a Head Like a Ping Pong Ball. These two are overaged campers with high pitched voices played by Tom and Mark who love camp so much they come back every year. Alone? No, I don't know. I've been living on vegetables for years. Hey, that's nothing. I've been living on Earth all my life. <laughs> it's kind of like Fred, only much less annoying and more educational. <laughs> they tell you great tips on camping while also dealing out lots of puns. But, before they do... The Caribou Credo! We'll follow the path where the caribou want. Our caribou headgear is off! On! Locked! Alright! Here's an example of when they tried to park a canoe on a dock. Into the dock? Bring the canoe into the dock. Into the dock? What if it's not sick? <laughs> but, uh, we're going to have to talk turkey here. Oh great, turkey. I'm famished. <laughs> Can I be frank with you? Can I be frank just for a moment? Okay, sure. If you think it's gonna help, Frank, go right ahead. Another segment was Woodsy Wisdom, hosted by Uncle Wes, as he tells campfire stories and offer camping advice. If you sit up for your trip, well, your boat just might tip, and the cold water next you'll be feeling, that's for sure. You know, sometimes if my knees get sore, I like to wear these, these knee pads here. Or I put a towel down where I am, and that helps to keep my knees a little nicer. A little more comfortable. There are also segments where Tom and Mark sit in the cabin and provide fun facts. For example, did you know that chalk is a form of limestone? You know what this is? That's right, it's chalk. But it also is a rock. It's limestone. It's a certain kind of limestone. And of course, it's used for writing on blackboards. The final segment usually has the two showing letters from the kids at home. Originally airing on CTV affiliate CKCO-TV in Kitchener, Ontario from 1986 to 1989, the series was created by co-creator and producer Janice Nostbacken, directors John Matlock and Paul Franscuti, and two weathermen from CKCO-TV, and the host of the show, Tom Knowlton and Mark Baldwin. People have always wondered where Camp Caribou was. Well, there is a Camp Caribou in Maine, but for Canada, there wasn't one. The whole series was filmed across various camps across Kitchener and Toronto, Ontario. That is really cool and adds more to the overall experience of the show, feeling like you're actually there at summer camp. Production ended for the series in 1989, and just as it finished, someone else picked up the broadcasting rights. YTV aired it in the early mornings during the preschool hours, including the treehouse block, where it was a perfect fit. I mean, come on, some camps have treehouses. 
To me, it reminds me of Nickelodeon's first successful hit, You Can't Do That on Television, and a show from Wisconsin called Mystery Science Theater 3000. The reason being was that all three were made for the local audience in mind, and then gained popularity with a national audience on a larger cable channel. And funny enough, YT would pick up both Camp Caribou and You Can't Do That on Television near the end of their runs. Camp Caribou won four awards in its history, two Camp Pro Gold Awards for Best Syndicated Children's Program, and two awards from the Children's Broadcast Institute. There have been some merchandise made for the series, including an album called I Love Camp Caribou, and something very recent. In 2021, a high-end clothing company, RetroKid, created a clothing line devoted to YTV, with shows like Video in Arcade Top 10, Uh Oh, and You Can't Do That on Television. Camp Caribou was a part of the bunch, and had the most apparel options amongst the four, with two hoodies, a t-shirt, and something even more special. Official Caribou headgear. Only 75 of these were made, and all proceeds of the sales went to the charity Kids at Camp. Our registered charity established to financially assist families to send their kids to an Ontario Camps Association accredited camp. A pitch for an animated series based on the Keeners was created, but ultimately never took off. And that was the legacy of Camp Caribou. Now, whatever happened to the show's main hosts, Tom and Mark? Well, Tom Knowlton was, or is, still a part of CKCO-TV, as their weatherman. He is also an independent filmmaker. 2020 was a big year for him, with a movie he co-directed and produced called Street Sauce, discussing the importance and controversies of public art in the Kitchener-Waterloo area. He also received an award from the International Camping Fellowship, with the 2020 ICF Letter Award of Merit, an award that recognizes a significant contribution by an individual, camp, or organization to the cause of world understanding and peace through camping. He helped during the pandemic in creating the ICF 2020 Thanks to Camp campaign that helped show how positively impactful the camping experience is in people's lives. As for Mark Baldwin, he became a professor at McGill University in Montreal for over 20 years, teaching social cognition, helping build significant relationships, and improving self-esteem. That's really awesome! Another interesting fact is that the caribou headgear worn by the Keeners are still seen at the Waterloo Region Museum in Kitchener, Ontario. Camp Caribou was one of YTV's earliest mainstays, and surely had an impact for many across the country that want to experience the wonders of camp in the great outdoors. And I think I know the perfect way to end this one. Let's head on down to the campfire. Well, I think the campers are on their way to bed now. Nobody left out here but us and the bugs. Well, campers, good night. Campers, good night. Bye-bye.